Hi, Sagittarius. Let's see if we can tap into your higher self, your guides, your, the universe, the divine. Find out what you need to know about the person you're inquiring about. Yeah. The reading is closed to your person's energy till the end of the reading. I'll invite their energy in so that we can get a brief message from them at the end of the reading. But right now, we're going to tap into your spirit tribe that protects and guides you and find out what you really need to know about this person. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Sometimes your moon, your Venus, or um, rising sign will resonate better. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out in case none of your sign readings resonated. I might have picked your energy up there. So, let's jump in. Let's find out what my Sags need to know about the person they're inquiring about. My Sagittarius from their higher self. What do they need to know about the person? Hmm. Y'all know these cards are big. We're going to go to the side. Because this is a struggle. <laughs> okay. So my Sagittarius, their person. Mm. One more. One more. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. My Sagittarius, what do they need to know about their person right now? What's really important for them to know right now about their person they're inquiring about? Oh, I'm thinking it's down, and we might take that one also. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one is about expressing yourself in a creative way. A lot of times, this one will show up when we've got somebody that likes to, you know. Uh, like do art like tattoos on their outer body they're you know they like to stand out mm. but then we've got nostalgia nostalgia mm. what is this person saying because this is almost like longing for a time when they were able to express their self in the, their own unique individual uh, way so, yeah, it's um, this card, sometimes it has us longing for someone from the past. But a lot of times it's about missing our own self. Feeling like we've lost ourself. So, what's going on? Ew. So, yeah, your person is looking back at their past. Are they longing for it? Or are they troubled by it? I'm, I'm sort of picking up they might be a tad bit troubled by their past, their history. Let's go ahead and pull the Romance Angel Oracles. Get some more detail on this. This is for my Sagittarius in their person. Tell us about that creative expression, the past they are looking at their self through. Mmm... Yeah, I'm almost seeing, in, sometimes in the images, you know, one time I can see the card and it'll have a happy face. And then another time I can pull it in a different reading and, and all I can see is, you know, sadness. And all of a sudden I'm seeing like concern, stress, and sadness on this woman's face. So yeah, something about their past is bothering them. So let's find out. It's for my Sag in their person. Let's go ahead and pull here. Ooh, that one's wanting to slide. We're going to take it. What did we get? Unrequited love. Mmm. They're worried their past is absolutely going to be a factor in that uh, it's going to cause you not to be in love with them no more. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Show us on the longing there. That sad face, that longing, that worry. Ooh, and it's this top one, guys. 
This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Oh, yeah. So, we've definitely got somebody worried about their past and how that's going to influence the connection. Round that, uh, round that energy up for me, please. Ooh. Oh, that was too many. We're, we're going to take that one, though. Make the effort. Great love is worth... <clears throat> taking the steps you're guided to take. So, yeah, your person is hoping that you, uh, there's something about their past they're worried about. I don't know if they've, you know, t told you, discussed it with you, or clued you in. Um, but they're really worried that's going to be an influence. And in that when you find out um, it's, t it's a toss-up between you going to do, be totally turned off by it and be like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. We ain't even going there. Or do you, will you think they're worth the effort? The effort. Mm -hmm. So let's pull the heaven and earth tarot and find out a little bit more detail on what it is exactly that's got them concerned. Let's see if we can get them to bring out what it is about their past. That is bothering them. Ooh, hopefully they'll they'll close us in a little bit on it. Sometimes uh, when somebody's carrying something like that, they they don't even want to discuss it in the energy spirit realm. So yeah, but we'll try. We'll give them a chance and see what comes through. See what your higher self is going to. Uh, Allowed to come through. Mm, I'm thinking it's this bottom energy. We're going to take it. Got a Queen of Swords energy. That's a Libra energy. Hanging on to that one. And possibly this one also. The Sun card. Happiness. Healing. Clarity. Truth. Also. On that card. Ow. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, hang on to that, because, mm, 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 are they going to tell us or not? Let's keep going here, let's keep going. Ooh, that one's, ooh, they flying. <laughs> yeah, what did we get? We got a Six of Swords, and this one, mm, mm, mm. Six of Wands, Sixes, Sixes. Daily routine. Oh my goodness, the sixth house energy has us looking. Oh gosh, it's your person looking. Just the fact that we got two sixes here, your person is like focused in on minute details of things. A lot of times, uh, with the sixth house energy, instead of being able to look at the bigger picture of things, looking out to your future in a you know, a bigger way, you're looking at my neat little details of, of, in more than likely, they're telling themselves the worst possible scenario going forward, because this is, the, these two cards, that six of wands is like, oh God, being in the spotlight and feeling really uncomfortable. It's a card of victory, yeah. But the the undercurrent of it is it puts you in the spotlight. That's why everybody is always standing around them because they're spotlight. Everybody's looking at you and they make you a little bit self-conscious and your person is like really wanting to move away from that. Let's hold on to this energy over here because that sun card is telling me they haven't divulged fully something, uh, whatever it is from their past, because they were evidently judged by it, by others. They judged their self now by it. Uh, and it's really hard because they're trying to hold that Queen of Swords attitude and way of thinking of bringing their, you know, keeping their emotions out of this. Uh, they're trying to be logical about going forward, but they really are focused in on minute little details of whatever that past was and really beating herself up for it. Now, either we we know what, what, what it is, but I got a feeling they're not being totally 
fully open and authentic about the past. Uh, so, yeah, and they were definitely judged because this card has them, they hit a point in their life of like, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it all behind me. I'm, I'm leaving it all. And they made some major changes in their life, moved away. And I got a feeling they moved away from quite a few people that were influences in, in their life from the past. So, yeah, let's keep going here because, yeah, like like I said, they feel very self-conscious right now. Um, they, and almost with that six of swords, it's almost saying, you know, I left that behind me, but now it's crept back up on me. It caught, my past has caught up with me for some reason. So, let's see what else. What else? Mm, oh, oh, that one. Oh, stress card, stress card. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands, Heartache. Let me keep them going that way so I can read them as I pull them. Oh, six of Cups, Six of Cups. Ow. Let me pull a clarifier on this because I just got really uncomfortable on this. Let me pull a clarifier right here. I'm going to use the Romance Angel Oracles again. Let's clarify on this sorrow in that six of cups, please. Clarify, clarify on that sorrow in six of cups. Sorrow in six of cups. Tell us about the six of cups, please. Six of cups. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's a side tracker, y'all. Hang on. Oh, didn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So basically, what this is saying, like I said, their past is caught up to them for some, you know, it's come back. They're worried about how it's going to influence uh, your connection. It's a high stressor for them. I mean, this is like having nightmares, anxiety, panic attacks. We've got the four of wands. So your person is most definitely wanting a solid, committed relationship partnership with you in this you know this is, incorporates you know combining your families like your tribe your friends your family uh, but they've got some heartache sorrow from the past this is the card of nostalgia another card of nostalgia but it, it's pinged for me it might actually have something to do with children or a child uh, that come across really strong and that's why I was trying to see what your person wanted to divulge about that past It's love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted self-respect that What's caught up with them whatever they did in the past whatever choice they made in the past It's caught up with them and uh, they didn't have a lot of self-respect back then and they don't feel like there's a lot of self-respect Finances and career financial issues are a factor. Uh, like I said, your person is like sidetracked actually having to say something about uh, this. And I'm really picking it up as something to do with children. And it might be they went quickly because of the fact that we, you know, we've picked up, you know, I, well, I picked up that it's a child. Uh, that would be the reason. <clears throat> uh, the complications when it comes to uh, the children or child. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, I don't want to go way too much into into it because your person didn't want to go way too much into it. Because with these, uh, your person is feeling a, a familiar soulmate, I, I know you kind of connection. And then they throw, you know, we, we're getting thrown through your higher, your higher self is actually communing with their higher self to be able to answer for us. They want to get to know, know you better before they divulge too much, too much. Cause yeah, but just know they're holding something where they, <clears throat> when, when it comes the past, when the choices, whatever it was in the past, 
uh, they don't have a lot of self-respect uh, and probably still carry a lot of regret. Um, I don't want to say shame. They feel ashamed of themselves for some reason over it. And, and possibly, possibly, may not all of us, but possibly, the fact that, it, that six of cups pinged a child. There's a child. There's something to do with children um, from the past. So, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it in at that because I really feel like it's making your person's energy uncomfortable. I don't know how else to put that. So we'll we'll leave it at that. But just know the the main thing to know about them right now. <clears throat> they are carrying something from their past. They do want to divulge it. They do, but it's it's gonna be hard. For them too, because they really want to pull in on that uh, Queen of Swords energy. Where they, if they try to tell you, they're probably going to get all emotional and start crying big time. It, it's hard for them to even think about it without them getting emotional and crying about it. So yeah, mm -hmm. and but we're also hearing it seem you know because this is Libra energy. The, scales of justice balance and libra energy uh your person is like really uh, judging their self harshly um with what happened in the past with the cho some of the choices they made in the past so yeah let's go ahead and pull what are we pulling here next two weeks this is um tarot in translation it's a journey, journey of the heart or journey in love. It's Susan Dawn's deck. I love the deck. I love her too. I'll try to remember to put in the comment section if you're interested. A link in the proper name of the deck that she named it. So yeah. We're going to pull the energies for the next two weeks. It is a timeless reading uh, massage. Uh, so just know whenever you find it. Uh, time frame is one to two weeks out in front of you from the time you watch the video. What's going to be the energy in this connection? What is the energy for my Sag and this person in the next one to two weeks? What does that look like for them? Mm, okay. Ooh. We'll take them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they popped right out. First one, what did we get? Page of Swords. Someone wishes to speak the truth in their heart to you, but is holding back in their communication. Allow them the space and time to gain their courage to come forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason I don't want to keep pulling and trying to force more detail. I, I would rather your person that's a face-to-face, heart-to-heart, private for them. Yeah, I, you know, we don't want to keep making them uncomfortable. But just know, one to two weeks out, <clears throat> give them space and time that they need to. And just listen, because uh, they make it try, you know, they may keep trying to divulge. A little bit of that truth at a time to you to see how you're going to react to it because they really are concerned do you are you going to think they're worth the effort you know that the connection is worth the effort or is it going to turn you completely cold towards them next one we've got eight of swords you're holding on to old beliefs or patterns around love that is making you feel powerless, stagnant, or trapped within your partnership. Change your perspective to shift the energy in your connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get the messages from your higher self, from your guides, and then we will open up the reading for your person's energy to come through. But let's hear from your higher self advice. For my Sag on this connection, what kind of advice do they need right now for this connection? Hmm. Ooh, I think 
think that's it. Mm -hmm. You are so dearly loved, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bothering this <clears throat> person a whole lot. Of what are you going to think of them? That kind of thing. So, yeah, shift your focus. Shift your focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold that. Hold that one. See if your higher self will clarify on why you need to shift your focus. Ooh, we're getting a lot wanting to fall out here. Nurture yourself. Mm hmm. Don't take it personally just because your person, you know, you, you, <laughs> if it's resonating, you probably already know. Don't take it personally that this person is not able to open up to you yet. It bothers them badly. And like I said, when they do open up to you, it's going to be an emotional thing. Emotional thing. It's not something they can easily talk about. With They can't hold that queen of swords energy when they try to talk about it. They go to pieces bad. So, yeah. You're discovering your life purpose. Mm -hmm. What else? Let's shuffle a little bit more. Just for my Sagittarius. Ooh, that one. That one. I felt it. You know, <clears throat> you know your heart the best. Yeah, you know your heart the best. So, yeah. Shift and focus, like I said. Uh, try to shift away from feeling like, uh, how do I put it? Like your person is just, they might come across as a little cold. Uh, so, get a sense that maybe we've already picked up on the fact they're holding back something. Don't want to talk about something. Don't take it that way. Uh, shift your focus back into the reality of it. It's hard, unbelievably hard for this person to open up. And they're very, very stressed. Where was our stress card? Look at it again. They're very stressed about your reaction and what you're going to think and feel about them after they open up and tell you. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and open the reading to their energy to step forward. And which deck do we want to use? I'm going to use the roses. The rose deck. Mm -hmm. Y'all know with the roses, you have to respect the thorns to get to the rose. Get some pricks and cuts off them thorns. But sometimes it is so worth it. This is for my Sagittarius person. I'm going to invite their energy to come forward. Let them speak through the cards. Anything that I want to say. To my sad, anything they want to say. <clears throat> oh. My whole being, body, mind, and soul is attracted to you. Uh -huh. I'm wanting to take this bottom one too because this wanting to come up. I never thought I could feel this vulnerable. Yeah, they're feeling very vulnerable. Very, very. Um, I can't express that enough to you. I need you here with me. It's time to let go. Hang on to that one, guys, because it's, it's I'm, I'm a feeling it over here on that sun card. It's time, it, it, they're reaching a point of it's time for me to tell you to talk about it, to take the chance to see is it going to ruin everything between us? Do I want that one? Yeah, let's take it. Oh, there we go. We have shared many past lives together. Yeah, your person is feeling that soul connection with you, that deeper, unseen kind of connection with you. Uh -huh. Oh, that one's wanting to come out. We're going to take that one. I have your back no matter what happens. No. Uh -huh. oh. Because they're so worried you don't have their back that you wouldn't have their back. Yeah, and they're like, I'll have your back no matter what happens. I was not looking for something like this. Yeah. Next one. You're incredibly sexy. Yes, you are. You know my sads are. Mm -hmm. I wish things were different. Oh. 
almost want to say they're wanting to say I wish I had been different. Um, maybe we need to reassure them they're different now and can let can truly let it go, let it go. I wasn't expecting to fall so in love with you. Wow. Okay, let's pull the butterfly deck. Let's do the butterfly deck real quick. This is for my Sag and their person. Please while well, keep talking through this deck for our butterflies, transformation. Everything's gonna be okay. Yes, it will. You speak through the deck, say whatever you need to say. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's this one. I feel so tempted by you all the time. Ooh. Let's pull this one. You're irresistible. Ooh, they're putting the focus straight on to you. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. Mm. It's pinging me back to it's it's time to time to let go and that sun card that sun card of reveal to reveal clarity to know for sure. This was meant to be. Yeah. This was meant to be. What's our bottom energy, guys? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down is basically what I'm sensing is don't pressure them. Like I said, be there. Listen and try to stay focused and understand. It's really hard. Hard for them. And it's going to be a breakdown. Oh my gosh, that this is the real me. And we're going to take that one too. I'm so in love with you. Yes, they are. Okay, my Sag, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.